I got a story to tell you. So one time I'm serving in my local church. I'm filming my youth pastor's sermon, okay? And this one lady who's in my church, she's a photographer and she's gifted in many different areas. She's like a big sister to me. She's awesome. She comes up to me and she goes, Ian, I got a vision from God for you. And now she is so like just connected with God. She is so anointed and so gifted. So whenever she comes up to me and says, yo, I got a vision from God, I know it's going to be some good stuff. I know it's going to be legit. So I'm like, I'm all ears. Like, okay, what, what, what's the vision you got? And so she explains to me, she's like, I just got this vision of you sitting on a dock, okay, with this vast oasis of ocean in front of you. And as you get up from the dock and you go to the edge of the dock, a stone pops up out of the water right in front of right in front of you. And as you step off of the dock and onto the stepping stone out in the water, another stone pops up in front of that stone. And as you take the next step on that stone, then the next step comes up. Then the next stone comes up. And as you keep taking these steps, as you take, keep taking these slow, controlled steps, you make it down the ocean. And so the point of that visual is, especially if you're a young person, you, we have no idea what our life is going to look like 10 years from now. We may have a picture or a vision of like what we want it to look like, but life happens, things change, relationships change, friendships change careers change a lot of things can change and happen in that time so we can't control that but what we can focus on is what our next step is and so the point of that visual is to take that step off that dock okay go in prayer and ask God all right God I'm on my dock right now I'm not doing anything but I want to know what you've purposed me to do so show me what the first step is and so as God shows you your purpose, it's going to be in steps. It's going to be maybe, all right, first step, go meet that person. Okay, next step, go maybe intern at this, at this place or go to that specific college. Or maybe it's go make these connections. Okay, go move to that place, go move to that state, whatever it is. Ask God for the leading and the direction of what that first step is. And that first step will then lead you into the next step. And then the next step and then you'll be like all right now i'm going to start this business i feel called to start this business i feel led and inspired to start this business all right now i'm going to make this connection which then leads into this which is then leads into this and so it's it's a process of taking these steps now understand okay now understand and i'm i'm sure okay you can think of at least one person when i mention this how many people in your life can you think of that are so gifted, they're so talented, that they could have done great, amazing things in their life, but instead, they settled of staying on their dock. They settled for a life of comfort. They settled for a life of just ease and safety, no risk, of just staying on their dock, just living completely in their comfort zone and not stepping out in faith and doing anything that God called them to do. And understand that, that, that living that life is actually very dangerous. Because when you end up staying on that dock and not doing anything, you end up settling for a life way under your potential. And I don't want to see any of you live a life under your potential, okay? So when God calls you to do something, when God gives you the direction, when God gives you the leading, okay, when you spend that quiet time with God every single morning, okay, for you to, for you to get these next steps, I wanna challenge you in this. For you to get these next steps, I challenge you if you're not doing this already. If you are, great. If you're not, I challenge you to do this. Spend time every single morning in prayer or reading the word or doing both and just ask God, seek him, okay, knock on his door and ask him, all right, God, what have you purposed me to do? What's my next step? 
What's the, what's the thing that's going to get me off my dock? Speak to me. Lead me. Give me the inspiration. Give me the encouragement. Speak to me and show me what that is. Reveal to me what that next step is and what that next step needs to be. And understand that it is totally so much more safe and so much less risky to just chill on your dock. And understand that when God calls you to do something, it's probably not going to be easy. Okay? And it's probably going to take a lot of faith. Uh, in fact, 2 Corinthians 5 or 7, that's the scripture I have for this visual. In the New Living Translation, it says, For we live by believing and not by seeing. Other translations say, We walk by faith and not by sight. And so understand that when you walk off your dock, and you see the stepping stone, and you see the direction, and you see this leading, it takes faith to step off that dock where you know it's not going to sink. It takes faith to step off that dock and onto the stone when you don't know what the, the outcome is of that stone. You don't know if it's going to sink or if you're going to be able to stand on it, if you're going to be able to float. You don't know, but it takes faith to actually do that. And when God calls you to do something, most likely, I'd, I'd say actually, I doubt if it is God, if it's something that's super easy. If it's something that you can just do on your own. Because when God calls you to do something great, it's going to be something that will cause you to rely on His strength. It's not just something that, oh, I can just muster up the courage to do this. I can just do it on my own. You know, I can just create this thing and create this business and it'll it'll be successful just on my own just in my own strength this is easy this, this is effortless okay I'd, I'd actually doubt that it's God leading you to do that if it's not something that's going to actually take faith it's not something that's going to actually take you relying on God's power and his authority and his anointing and his creativity to actually strengthen you in this process when you're going and leading and you're led by God and you're led by the Holy Spirit in taking these next steps understand that you take these next steps long enough and you actually take the hard route and you don't just stay on your dock okay if you just stay on your dock you're risking the the, the settled life and you're risking all that would have came from you actually stepping off the dock and when you go and take that risk off the dock and you go and take these steps like yes you're gonna risk Okay, I'm going to do things that are probably outside of my comfort zone. Okay, I'm going to do things that I'm going to need God for. I'm going to need his strength for. But ultimately, when you do these steps long enough and you take these steps, you're going to look back on your life and you're going to be led into a life that is satisfying. Okay, you're going to be led into a life where you're going to look back and you're going to think, man, God took me from where I was there to where I am now. I can't even believe that. That's the result of you actually taking that risk and stepping off your dock and you going and doing and operating in the leadings and callings that God purposed you to do. And understand when God gives you the direction, he's actually leading you into the best pathway for your life. Psalm 32 verse 8 says, the Lord says, I will guide you along the best pathway for your life. I will advise you and watch over you. So. When God gives you that direction, trust his word, trust and know that he's actually leading you along the best pathway for your life. Okay. Understand that. Understand that. Yes. Okay. It's probably not going to be a perfect and smooth path set before you. And you might have to do things that are uncomfortable, do things outside of your comfort zone. But understand that God is with you and he is guiding you along the best pathway of your life. He's guiding you into a life where you are fully satisfied, where you are fully abundant. 